Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do His Part and welcome to my 2022 summer home tour. So this is our entry and I love it. It's perfect. It's all we need. I will say when I see other homes, I love when they have like a grand staircase and like a round center table with a flower plant on it. But for us, this is perfect. Our last house, um, we didn't have an entryway. So I'm just always so thankful for this space. I will say I always get comments of why we keep this so full because then nobody can sit on it, but nobody ever does. So we go out our garage door and when guests come in, they never set here they may set their purse um, I was really excited this is George if you're new and this is Tiger <laughs> Um, but I was super excited to get a coat closet here we've never really had one of those either but real life I'm gonna show you guys inside of it it's not a coat closet it's officially Savannah's <laughs> dance closet so she's doing a lot of summer camps um, for like little kids and then she has her summer dance classes as well but that's why she has so many costumes in there and then from here on it's like nothing but costumes so just a reminder just because it's a coat closet or a linen closet you can use it however you need it doesn't have to stay that purpose make it work for you Now we're gonna head into this first hallway and just touching again on using closets, how you need them. This is what should be our linen closet. And we turned it into Savannah's like craft closet. It's got all her homeschool stuff in it. It has games at the top. Um, this is a space I kinda need to tweak a little bit. You can tell there's organization in there, but we used it all year long with school. So now that it's summer and typically right before the school year starts for next year, I'll go in and like redo it all and revamp it put her new homeschool stuff out um, but I just wanted to show you just because it's a linen closet doesn't mean it has to stay a linen closet for us just school supplies and crafts were best but now we're gonna go into the guest bedroom aka the boys room <laughs> look at that look George is giving you he knows it's his okay so let's talk about this space like i mentioned this is our guest bedroom it gets stayed in a handful times a year just by like my sister uh, maybe my parents or chase's parents depending on if they're helping us watch the boys while we're gone doing something um what i will say is like this blanket i take off or just wash before guests come since george is laying on it and then i also got a duvet cover so like i can get all of this clean um before someone comes over but as you can see he just kind of stays there at the end of the bed tiger isn't able to jump up there anymore he's getting a little bit older and then we have this black accent wall which i love we originally put it up when this was chase's office and then we did a little itch to switch and this became the guest bedroom which i feel like it's the perfect guest bedroom because it's so grand and beautiful. I will say this is like the hot room when it's hot and cold when it's cold. I don't know if you guys have a room like that in your house, but every single house I've lived in, there's like one room that the air doesn't go to as much. So like I'll keep a fan in here. When it's winter, it's kind of nice because you can just snuggle, but I do keep the air down and keep fans in here when like guests stay. Um, this is a piece we got off Facebook Marketplace and I painted everything black I just took the drawers out so this is a really easy um, little project to do because you don't have to do any taping off you literally just pull the drawers out paint the whole frame black and then stick the drawers back in once it's dry and it's good to go 
So I'm really happy with this space. I could stay in here. It's just like so cozy. Um, when guests come, if they're going to be staying and they need to sleep, I do have like dark gray blackout curtains I'll put up if they need them. Um, I just keep them over here in the closet. Once again, I'm going to open this up. It's real life. I have not touched this closet, so I have no idea what it looks like. But here is this closet. You can see we have extra sheets right here. This is all um, like dance costumes right now. I got to figure out what to do with bags. This is like our guest area. So they have their own clean towels and washcloths. Um, if they forget anything, I try to keep like toothbrushes and toothpaste and razors and all of that just on hand with some extra hangers as well if they want to hang any of their clothes but we don't have guests a lot and we do it's family, but it's nice just to have it set up. So if they come last minute, I'm ready to go. We're gonna head down the hallway and this is the first bathroom you're gonna see this is Savannah's bathroom she's got a nice large space in here so her bathroom is bigger than our last master bathroom at our last house so she has so much space sometimes she wishes it was actually connected kind of like an ensuite but this way it is a lot bigger and she still doesn't have to share because she's our only child but what's funny is at our last house there was a room with an ensuite and she never wanted the bathroom bathroom attached and now she does it's kind of like you always want what you can't have and then she's got awesome storage so once again I have not touched this this is all her <laughs> she likes to organize um, this is her closet so this could be another linen closet it could be towels it could be whatever as you can see she loves her skincare and lotions and hair so she's got all this organized for what works best for her and then I love having her laundry basket on wheels it just makes it easier for kids they can like roll it down to you even if they just like take it and push it down the hallway at least it helps you out um, so yeah I just love all the space in here that she has she has all of that the cabinet above the toilet and then one two three drawers and then all of these cabinets and one more drawer down here she was just getting ready so that's why her straightener is out but that is her space I wanted to show you in just a few cabinets because she is actually super organized I don't touch anything in here this is her space but she likes to be organized too you can tell it just helps her stay organized she knows where everything is so I thought I'd just show you how she has her bathroom set up. We are now entering Savannah's room and her space. I absolutely love this space in here. This is all her, this is all her design and what she wanted. She's tweaked it a lot, but I just love all the lights. And at night it just glows so blue and so cool in here. I'll try to pop up a picture right here so you can see at night. It's like a completely different vibe as well. But she has done so well with this space. It's so calming and neutrals, but it's so her. Um, I would say like 85 to 90% of this room is Amazon. So I'll try to link a ton down below. But her dresser, her nightstand, all of her bedding, the bed the ivy, the swing, the desk and chair is not, but I think almost everything else in here has been ordered from there. So you can really create some really cool spaces just from Amazon, because right there, it's all done on a budget and it's absolutely beautiful. I could move right in today if I needed to come into this space.
If you're not caught up on my videos, definitely scroll back some and check out my living room makeover. <laughs> There's a few of them, so go to the most recent one. I've had a hard time figuring out my style in this house, but I promise you I have finally figured it out. I love this. Um, I'm calling it organic modern. Someone had pointed that out to me and I searched it on Pinterest. I'm like, that is it. But I did not have a name for it until one of you smart, amazing women pointed it out. But I just love neutrals, but I love the warmth of the wood just to make it cozy with the pops of the green with the plant. I don't know. I've just totally loved this. I don't know if you guys are ever going to see another makeover from me again. I know some of you guys are giggling right now. We kind of have bets going over on Instagram how long this is going to stay. Now, I'm sure I'll make a few tweaks, but I just cannot imagine like changing this style. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Um, what's funny is we've kind of come full circle in here because if you guys remember when I moved in, I had a sectional really close to this. Now this one does fit better, so I'm glad we switched, but we have been through so many sofas in here and so many coffee tables. Um, I recently found this TV stand on a Facebook marketplace. It was such a good deal. It's beautiful, it's heavy, it's solid wood. It's gonna last me forever. And I love that it's just like flat and clean but then it has storage all throughout here as well. So keep in mind, you don't have to go buy brand new pieces. You don't have to spend a lot of money. It takes a little more time to get creative and to find used pieces, but you can find them and they're beautiful. Um, you can spray paint things. I've always loved my home. I try to make every home we've lived in our dream home. Even if it's not perfect, I do the best I can because you're living there, you might as well love it. So just do it on your budget and just make sure you have a place you love coming home to. So right off our living room, we have this little nook. I love that we painted this wall black. It just pops it, it makes you notice it more. And then it has you walk into my office. So this used to be the old guest bedroom, but it was really weird being right off the living room. I guess wanted to come in here and lay down. Um, they had to shut the door and we were still all right here. So that's kind of why we did some rearranging. Now I will say this is a room that needs a makeover. Speaking of not doing makeovers, I'm not completely finished because this room's fine. Like it's totally fine, but it just doesn't go with the rest of the house. I haven't quite figured it out. It has some tweaking to do. So hopefully like this month, it'll probably be next month or the next after that. We have a very, very busy summer. I do want to work on this space. I like the layout of it. I like a lot of pieces in here, but I feel like we could just make it a little bit nicer. So I'll show you from a different angle over here. We have a nice closet in here, which is why I moved in here. It's super nice having. Once again, I'll show you real life. This closet's gonna be a whole lot scarier because this is my work closet. But this is what it looks like. It's actually doing pretty well. It's been way worse. And then I put all these dividers and bins in. So it's keeping me somewhat organized. And then I have like all my Cricut stuff over here. So it's working. And a lot of this is just like sponsors. So once I get finished, I can get rid of it. But until then, I'm just gonna take it and smash it in there and act like it doesn't exist. <laughs> As far as our kitchen goes, I feel like I haven't changed a ton in here, even from the time we moved in. So since we moved in, I switched out like the bar stools. We flipped out the lights, I think two weeks after moving in. The ones I picked out once they were installed, I did not like them, but these have been up since then. And then I think I got more like, canisters over here. I used to have white ones, but they were just like blending in. So I picked these guys up from Target 
super, super, super affordable and they come in all sizes. And then I just bought the wood little spoons in there off Amazon. I can link those or put them in my Amazon store. And then the screen plant, I shockingly found it at Lowe's. If you haven't checked out any of their decor, check it out. It's typically unique and it's almost always on clearance. I think people forget to check there for decor. So you find more one of a kind pieces that people don't have. Um, so definitely check that out. And then over here, this is our like coffee bar kind of is what I would call it. I get asked about this white knife set a lot. It's just from Walmart and they have a whole line. So I have the crock pot, the toaster, the air fryer. This is like my small appliance cabinet right there. Um, and they have even more products that go with it. I have the griddle, but it's in a different area, but you can definitely check those out and they have some really cool colors. I won't spend too long in here, but I know it's kind of nice to see inside some people's drawers. If you guys would want like a full home tour just based on organization, like me showing you, you know, in every cabinet and every drawer, let me know down below in the comments section. And then also let me know if you want like an Amazon one where I can show you like all the Amazon products that I have in the house. Now we're gonna move on to the dining room and can you guys spy the little change I've made? Um, so in here I had wicker chairs as my captain chairs but they were actually my outdoor chairs and during the winter I just brought them in and I love the way they looked and I couldn't find anything else I liked so I just kept them. But I've been working on the patio because it's finally back warm again here in Oklahoma. And so I put them back outside and I found these at um, World Market. So it's just a store we have here in Oklahoma or in the Tulsa area. I don't know if you guys have one near you, but if you do, def definitely check them out. They have really pricey things and they have really affordable things, but they have very unique pieces. What I love about these is they're made for the dining room. So they're on like wheels and they glide really easily so you can sit down they fit perfect i have my pillows in there um, but super happy with that i'm still loving this accent wall right here um, a lot of you guys told me to put my pictures in there i did it just got way too busy so i just love it being very simple but cool accent walls like i love that it matches all the rest of the walls in the house you guys are probably asking me about that right now every wall in our house is repost gray. So in different rooms, it might look different because you'll say, you know, what's the ceiling in this bedroom? Every wall in this house is repost gray. If you guys are curious about this wall, we did DIY this wall. I have a video posted on my channel. So if you wanna see how to do this, it's affordable, it's super easy to do. Um, it just makes your home look more custom. So you'll enjoy it, but it also helps your house sell faster if you plan on selling one day, just because it has custom features in it. And it's really not that hard to do. Now this is Chase's office. So if you weren't here when we did the whole itch to switch, this used to be my office, but it doesn't have a door. So it has these two doors right here, which don't do a whole lot for sound. And then it's all tile floor. And then right here, this does not close off. So trying to edit and do voiceovers, I finally decided I needed like a bedroom with carpet and a door and a closet and it's helped so much. Plus this is perfect for Chase. So if he's working, he doesn't need a door to be closed off. And if he does, he can always use my office, but it's worked out really well since we did that itch to switch. Um, we have a whole makeover for this office as well. If you want to check it out, if you're curious about any of the pieces, 
as always i'll link as many items as youtube will allow me down below in the description box but also click on that amazon store link because i'll have a lot of items as well right there for you but all of this is pretty much like super affordable it's a lot of amazon um the frames are target the clock is kirkland's the light is Amazon. And then I wanna say the desk was like Office Depot or Office Max, um, but it's just a really good one. He needed a good desk. And then over here, he has his printer and some stuff. The roses are Savannah's from the recital, but they needed some light, so we put them in here. But that is his office. This is our really long hallway and I'll kind of take you in. Like right here is our half bath. So this is like our powder room for when guests come over. And then this is that door that doesn't close off. I forgot to show you the pantry, so let's go inside there. I will say I used to have a ton of like these clear containers that I would empty stuff out into, kind of like right here. But it just became so much work and we don't eat a ton here so food was going bad. So I finally decided to leave everything in their containers so I could see what it is, when it expires. But I put everything in like like items together in clear bins and I love it. Like this functions so much better for my family. I think the way other people do it, it's beautiful. This is a lot of color. So if you don't like a lot of color, taking things out of packages looks amazing. But for us, we just couldn't do it <laughs> so this is our version of it so never feel like you have to do what everybody else is doing just kind of tweak it and make it work for you um, having clear dividers and stuff really does help keep it organized and keep like things together so i highly suggest those um, even labeling is super nice so if your husband's putting away the groceries or a friend that's helping you out or your kids it does help and then i love having a dry erase board right here so people can write down what they need because small sprite i'm assuming that's my mom i think that's my dad's handwriting it must i must be out in the garage and then savannah's friend put more mac and cheese alice and sab which savvy doesn't eat it so i know it's alice and what's funny is we have this many but the girl loves mac and cheese when she comes so i always keep it in here for her Okay, my air is running above me if it sounds loud, but this is our laundry room slash mud room. So this side is all laundry. Um, when we first moved in, this was just a plain wall. It had the cabinets there, but we added these shelves next to it. And then we did a whole makeover or accent wall where we painted the wall black. And then we just used a chalk pen and a piece of tile and made this so this is just like paint pen so that's a really affordable easy project if you want to make your home feel custom but maybe you're on a really tight budget or maybe you don't want to use nails and screws and all of that so that was super easy to do and then over here on this side we haven't done a ton um, i added the baskets when we first moved in my dad custom made this cushion for us so it was nice and soft but I just kind of keep this decorated, but we also use this. So we always have jackets and purses and bags here. I took all the bags away just so I could show you this video, but there's always something sitting here because it's real life. And then my boys are in here. Um, I think they lay in here and wait for us to come back. And so it was always smelling a little doggy. So I have air purifiers all throughout my house. I have all different kinds, but if you guys are always wondering like, how do you make your house not smell like a dog? Sometimes it just does, <laughs> but what helps are these air purifiers and you can just run it on low. So when I leave, I turn it on and it just helps clean the air, especially in areas like this that have like dog food and the dogs are in here. Um, I have one in the guest bedroom as well. I just didn't show you since they lay in there a lot.
Now we are going to move on to our bedroom. I love this space. I love this design. I love how everything's come together. Um, it's just a lot of neutrals, but the fireplace being black and bold just kind of like anchors the room. So a lot of pieces do not survive my house. If you're new here, I love redecorating. I love changing things up, but this fireplace has been in three different houses of ours. It's looked different in every single one of them. So just because you have a piece doesn't mean you can't change it up like for this space we painted it black and it is so nice <laughs> during Christmas yes I'm already thanking Christmas I know it sounds crazy but now that I have my house decorated the way I love it I just cannot wait to decorate for Christmas but having like stockings hanging from this and snow outside laying in bed oh it's just perfect I absolutely love it um so I got a little scared when we were painting this black midway through but once it was finished I just absolutely Absolutely love it. Um, a lot of these pieces are just from like Ross or Home Goods. Here's more real life for you. Watch this. I definitely need to clean this. You guys think having white is bad. I think black is even harder. It just shows so much. But that is the fireplace. We have a chair right here and then our TV and a dresser, a basket full of blankets because I have to have blankets in every room because I love them. Um, and then our bed and bedding, lamps, a lot of this stuff in here too is Amazon. And then we will head into our bathroom. Okay, so this bathroom I love. I love when closets are inside of bathrooms. That's how our first home was. You guys didn't see that one. It was like before YouTube. But our second house, it was separate. And I just love being able to get out of the shower and go into my closet and get ready. So at my last house with my closet not attached, I kept like my underwear and bras and all that in a drawer in our bathroom. I know it sounds crazy, but try it. You will thank me. <laughs> it's so nice to have that stuff in there with you. Um, another thing I like to do is find pieces that serve multiple functions. So this table right here is nice when I take baths. I normally have like a book on it, a candle, my phone, whatever I need, but it's very heavy and sturdy. So I use this more. I'll pick it up and set it here. And I do Savannah's hair all the time. Chase will sit there and put his shoes on. So it's nice finding pieces that can serve multiple functions um, in your house especially if you're tight on storage um, we have double sinks right here all the hardware all the faucets all the lighting in this home is from Amazon when we were ordering it we just all picked it up from there um, right here is into our bathroom you turn and walk into it so nice not having glass if I ever have to move and have a glass shower door, I just may not do it. Like, I'll find a different house. <laughs> like, it is so nice not having to scrub a shower door. And then right here is our water closet, which is just our toilet. So it's nice that it's closed off. And then you walk in here to our really grand closet. For some reason, he gave us super high ceilings in here. It's almost like our living room, maybe not as tall, but it's just so nice for storage. So in our last house, Chase and I had separate closets, which was kind of nice as well. But it's nice sharing again now that there's just more room. And these rods are all called seasonal racks. If you have seen my home tours, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself on some of these, but we always have new viewers that wanna see the house. But what's so cool is it has this rod right here and I can just pull on it, get to anything I need. So this will be like, right now it's a lot of my sweaters cause it's warming up here. I can get whatever I need. And then I just push it and put it back up. So it's really nice for short people. So once again, if you're remodeling or building and you're short and you wear a lot of clothes, definitely, definitely add those in. You can see right here, there's more of them. We just don't have clothes up there. Okay. 
Okay guys, that is a lot. <laughs> I hope that wasn't super boring. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something or a trick or a way to decorate. I think it's always fun going inside other people's home because it inspires you. It kind of like stretches your mind of like, hey, I didn't think to do that. Could I add that in my house or could I tweak it a little bit? So I love seeing inside people's homes and just what they do, especially if they have our same floor plan. There's only one other house in our neighborhood that has our floor plan and I'm just like itching to get inside of it because I want to see like where they put furniture. But now I'm going to take you outside. I can't talk out there because it is so windy here in Oklahoma and we have lots of construction going on, but definitely stay tuned and I'll show you the front yard and the backyard. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did hit that like button because it helps me out, comment down below, leave me an emoji, leave me whatever, and then share this with someone else that you know will enjoy it. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. See you next time.